Hey everyone, it's Brie. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Shimmers Paints Color Kits team. And I'm working with the October Color Kits. And y'all know me, I love Halloween, so this color kit is one of my favorites. Uh, let's go through the paints, or let's go through everything in the kit. The first is the colorings in Vivacious Violet. And then we have a brand new exclusive color to this kit. It is called a Vibes uh, Jack-O-Lantern. We also get a Shimmerings, nope, I'm sorry, Shimmers in Celery and Inklings in Sunkist, and a Creamies in Dandelion. So with Creamies and Inklings, you do have to add water to them to get the paint activated. The shimmers already do come with liquid, so you just have to stir it up to get all the shimmery bits um, mixed in from the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna speed it up a little bit to go through the rest of the kit. Uh, you get some really gorgeous exclusive um, ephemera, these uh, dots and some stickers, and then of course the beautiful pattern papers. I love the Shimmers pattern papers. I think they're absolutely fantastic. They're so versatile. Oh, we also do get that um, coloring page that on my left. Um, but yeah, they're so versatile. So not, not only do you get patterns, but you also get papers where you can highlight the paints that come in this kit. All right, so let's go ahead and start creating. I was immediately inspired by the spiderweb uh, pattern paper, so I am going to keep that in mind when I create. But first of all, I am going to take a piece of thick white cardstock. I did prep it with white gesso, and I'm going to go ahead and um, I did punch a bunch of circles in different shapes using my paper punches and what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray all of my colors or paint all of my colors down on my glass mat and I'm going to just dip each circle into the paints. I don't really mix the colors. The only ones that I kind of mixed were the oranges and then the yellows but I did keep the green and the purple separate. So I'm just dipping um, each circle into the paint, adding some clean water with my paintbrush to get the colors moving around. But for the most part, I am just dipping. I did want the great um, water or paint lines. I like the look of it, how bold it is. I just wanted it as organic as possible. Um, so I just dipped and then, you know, let it move a little bit. But for the most part, I kind of left them as is. And I love how they turned out. This is so like such a great idea. If maybe you don't want to have too much pattern paper on your page, or you want to um, highlight all of the colors in the kit, and maybe not all of them you know, go like the purple and the green are, you know, it's kind of hard. Well, actually it's just the purple. It's kind of hard to blend. So this is a great way to highlight the purple, um, but then also uh, not have it mixed and get muddied up. So I love doing this. I love painting on to plain white cardstock and then punching shapes out. <clears throat> It'd be great if you did mix the yellows and the greens and the oranges. I think that'd be gorgeous. I've done that before, um, but it's just another fun way to highlight these beautiful colors that come in this kit. So I'm just gonna keep on dipping and painting and I'm gonna let them dry overnight. You could add like um, stenciling on top of it. You can add, you know, some, um, what I did is I did add faux stitching with a black paint pen, but you could actually hand stitch these. You could run them through your sewing machine. Um, I kept it simple and just did some faux stitching. So I'm back to my spider web paper. I'm gonna trim it down to an 11 by 11 and then I'm going to mat it on top of this uh, super cute purple pattern paper that I'll show you here in just a second. Um, there it is right there. I used some photos of my daughter. We had gone recently, a couple weeks ago, we had gone to Disneyland and it's totally decked out. Um, and Halloween so it's super fun so I thought that purple pattern paper would be perfect so here she is standing um, next to one of the planners and behind her are a Mickey and Minnie just dressed up in Halloween um, costumes or like Halloween attire and it's so cute so um, this was perfect for this kit because it's super playful and a lot of fun so I'm just gonna arrange all of my punched out painted circles along uh, a diagonal just kind of from the bottom left to the top right I did kind of choose the bigger circles to hold my photos so I'm gonna pop everything up on foam tape I think I didn't pop one I just tucked that purple one at the top um, underneath the one that I'd painted in Sunkist and and in jack-o-lantern sorry um, and yeah, for the most part, everything else popped up. So I went through these ephemera pieces. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I wanted to add almost all of them onto my page. I did have to um, kind of hold myself back a little bit because then it would just get way too busy. But for the most part, I added a lot of the ones that really went with the photo and the kind of the theme of this fun Halloween page. Um, but yeah, so I'm just embellishing 
my daughter does make an appearance, uh, just her hand, um, in this video, and I left it in. I thought it was so cute. She really wanted to see what I was doing, and of course, she started touching everything, so she didn't last too long. Oh, there she is on my at my desk, so um, I thought it was cute since this page is about her, but yeah, this is the October color kit. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Just remember, if you do place any Shimmers Pates orders now or in the future, just add my name to the notes comments section of your order, and you'll receive a small freebie. But here is a, the layout up close. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some up close shots and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.